Hey guys, today I have the new Makeup by Mario Skin Complexion products, the Skin Enhancer and the Skin Perfector. If you guys are interested on in seeing the new Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming products, let's get into it. I did just do a little bit of Rare Beauty Skin Tint. You definitely don't have to do any foundation or any skin tint with this product. So we're gonna get right into it. I'm very excited to try these out, starting off with packaging. I love, I love anything that Makeup by Mario comes out with. Love him as a person, as a makeup artist. I think he's incredible and I just love his work. This right here is the Skin Enhancer and this one is the Skin Perfector. The Skin Enhancer is gonna be more of a balm texture. The Skin Perfector is a gradient powder. The Enhancer right here is gonna retail for $30, and then the Perfector is gonna retail for $34. Pick this one up in two different shades. I did get the shade Medium, and then I went ahead and picked up the shade Light Medium just because I was a little bit hesitant. Honestly, wasn't too sure, so they do look pretty deep when they are in the pan. This one is Light Medium, in the enhancer and this one is medium. So just a little bit different in tone, but once it goes on the skin and you swatch it, you'll see they do kind of sheer down. So starting off with the Skin Perfector. This is a three-in-one powder, which I think is so stunning looking. It is meant to blur, illuminate, and set all in one. It's supposed to have like a really nice airbrush finish at the end of it while still giving that really pretty glow, like a bronzy summer glow. Really pretty gradient effect. Has a little bit of a bronzer shade right here fades down into a little bit of an illuminator, a little golden, then more of a lighter illuminator, and then more of a setting powder. So Mario was saying on Instagram, which I saw, that he wanted to create products that were instantly going to transform your skin. A little bit more tanner and just so simple. You can definitely take the brush and use each product how you would like it. If you just want a little bit of bronzing, you can do so. It does come in six different tones. I'm not gonna get a ton of pigment with them. For me personally, I kind of fall in between, I think, the light medium and medium. They're pretty sheer products, so you kind of can just get away with it. If I'm all over the place, I'm sorry, but I definitely wanna break this down for you. When I first saw it, a little bit like, whoa, what is that? How do I use it? Is it a contour? Is it a bronzer? And we're gonna get into that right now. So the Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer, they are a bombish texture, which I thought was so great. Starting off initially touching the product, really soft, really soft smooth, warms up on your fingertips, and this one is the shade medium. So this is meant to go in the perimeters of the face like you would when you are bronzing your skin, kind of fading it into the center of the skin. It's essentially where the sun would naturally hit you is where you want to place this product. So it's a three-in-one tinted complexion balm that warms and nourishes with sheer coverage to even out the skin tone. I would say it's going to give more of that warm, kind of bronzy glow, perfect for summer. I think it's gonna be perfect for like that quick, easy, everyday makeup. Is the shade light medium. So I'll swatch it on this finger. I did, like I said, wanna pick this one up because I wasn't sure what tone. And of course these products will be listed and linked for you down below. I just rambled for about 20 minutes. <laughs> so I'm gonna start off with the shade Light Medium in the Transforming Skin Enhancer. This is meant to go on the perimeters of the face like I mentioned. Slightly bring it into the center of the skin with whatever's left on the brush just so everything meshes together really nicely. I wanna make sure all the bristles are coated. Really, really easy to get on the brush. Actually, that's a lot of pigment and product right away even though this product is pretty sheer. Pretty natural looking. I'm not even sure I need to touch the medium yet. Ooh, pretty. I'm noticing right away how glowy that is. It does have vitamins in here, so it's really gonna help nourish the skin as well. And it totally feels so soft on the skin. That's nice, okay. I thought I wasn't even gonna get like much payoff with the light medium, but I think I'm getting way more than anticipated, even though when I swatched it, it is pretty sheer. Just lightly diffusing this product, holding the barrel of the brush down at the bottom, just so we can get a light amount of distributing and it's not like heavy pressure. Mario mentioned that whatever shade you are in the enhancer is what shade you will be in the perfector. Now I did go ahead and use light medium and I only picked up the shade medium in the perfector. So I'm hoping that that one still looks just as good. It's a little bit more golden than light medium, essentially be the same one in each. So just bringing lightly down to the neck, just a little bit. So how I think that this is different than a contour or a cream bronzer that I'm used to using, it is definitely a lot more sheer. I think it is actually awesome and I don't own anything like it even though it looks like I do, <laughs> all the other cream bronzers that I have is not as sheer. Because it's so sheer, it still looks like my skin. It's still giving that warmth. So it's so pretty. Honestly, I really, really like it. The lightly just kind of like sweeping. So everything is still 
looking all good and cohesive. You still have that warmth in those areas you want it. I also did not purchase the brushes that you can use for this product, but I think what I'm using is just fine. It kind of resembles just a little bit of it. So I think we're good. That's the one side of my skin. And this is the other side with nothing. I definitely think you can totally notice a difference. Even though it's super sheer and super subtle, you still notice it and it looks like a really natural tan. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit more right here and then I'm gonna do the same thing to the side. It would be such a dream to get my makeup done by Mario himself. That is literally like a dream, a manifestation. I wouldn't even know what to do with myself. That is just one of the things I think about daily. Applying the pressure, very light in these areas. Look how healthy that looks. Like, of course I'm gonna have to go in and do a little bit of spot concealing for these blemishes. And I'm gonna add a little bit of concealer in my under eye. Also, if you are more oily or you don't like glowy products, these may not be for you. It's definitely giving you that glow. So just keep that in mind. I can't get over it. It looks so pretty and like effortless. So I personally think that the shade light medium is actually my perfect shade. I'm just gonna dip into the shade medium, I'm curious. And I'm just gonna put it right here just to see. I love the way this looks. The glow that it's giving is honestly like out of this world. This is supposed to really just give you that nice natural sun-kissed glow. So I think it really does meet up to everything that it claims which is great. A little bit of my concealer before I go in with the perfecter. So I'm just gonna dot a little bit of concealer right here. I'm just keeping it right here. Now we go into the Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Perfector. It's a radiant powder that is that gradient effect like I mentioned earlier. I'm gonna take one of these brushes and I'm just going to go right here to the bronzing shade. And I'm gonna really coat the brush. And he likes to just go for it and set on top. So I'm gonna do that as well, just go like this. Okay, yep, so pretty. I really like the way my skin is looking. My skin looks so healthy, like so pretty. And then I'm gonna lightly diffuse into here. And then I will now go in with the illuminating portion of it and just kind of lightly push that on top of it as well. It is more of an illuminating type of powder. So. If you don't want that, don't put it underneath your eyes. I think that looks so gorgeous, like, wow. You can also use these products individually on your eyes. You don't have to just use it on your face. You can use this bronzer right here for your eyes, which I'm about to do. Ooh, yep. If you are a makeup artist, you probably would really enjoy this too because it's all here for you. You can really just transform the skin easy as that. I was like expecting this to work, obviously. Your girl didn't think it was gonna look like this. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a smaller brush now and just kind of dot right into the illuminating portion of it and just kind of go over the skin like that. I actually don't even think it's emphasizing like pores. Or do we notice that too? Like what? This is such like a simplified foolproof like product. I'm telling you, it is so, so simple and so pretty. I'm just gonna go ahead and take a little bit of my Maybelline setting powder just to pop underneath my eyes just to keep that mattified. I personally don't wanna have a lot of glow right in the center area. And right here, it looks pretty, but it definitely can look a little bit too much. That is optional, of course. Honestly, this was such a simple makeup look. And I feel like it's perfect for beginners, perfect for somebody who still wants to look put together. That bronze goddess look, like you're definitely getting that with this product. I'm obsessed. I could probably sit here and keep applying. I feel like this is definitely one of those products that is perfect for quick glam, out the door, you need to run errands, but you still wanna look put together, or it's a nice summer day and you're going somewhere, like to an event, but you wanna have a light, minimal makeup, then this is perfect for that. I didn't add any powder anywhere else except for under my eyes. I don't think I'm gonna add any blush today, which is so weird for me to say, but I wanna just have like that bronzy moment. And I think that this really gives what it needed to give. I feel like this looks like a perfected version of my skin. The coverage, like I said, is sheer. So it's a really pretty natural type of look. I'm gonna go and just apply some lashes and lips and I'll come right back and share with you guys the final thoughts. I just wanna let you know I'm obsessed with these products. 
I think this still would have looked great on bare skin. I'm overall loving these. Definitely has that smoothing effect to it. It's a really nice smooth powder, really airbrush like, but still giving that glow. So you definitely have the variety and option of using it all together or by itself with a smaller brush. Take a bigger brush, dab in, and just lightly sweep. As far as the enhancer goes, it is so stunning. Don't be intimidated by the shades, even the lightest shade light. It does look a little bit deep. I feel like once you start applying it on the skin, you don't need a lot. It is very sheer coverage, really subtle and really natural, melts into my skin. And I think they did a great job with formulating these products. I feel like this would even be really nice on like a light amount of foundation like you can even go in with like a regular foundation and just do this lightly you can use this on top of a regular foundation but if you're going to use the enhancer on top of a foundation i definitely would say it would still work with like a light amount of coverage i wouldn't go like a full glam with these products or the enhancer i should say if you don't like glow or you are oily then maybe skip out on the product or then just go in with a separate translucent powder or a setting powder just to set areas that you kind of want to mattify. I really think that these are phenomenal products. I really love the way they look on my skin. I feel like it's no shock because you guys know I love like that sun-kissed, glowy kind of look. I will keep you guys updated in the description box like always. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Let me know if you guys picked up this product and tried it out for yourself. So you're definitely gonna see this product in use way more. I really, really love it. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video and I will see you in my next one.